It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Hello to all, this is your program Problems and Solutions. There is a way out for your situation. There is a solution for your problem. Be you depressed, facing panic attacks, having suicidal thoughts, family problems, love life problems, health issues. God's power can change any situation. Any issue you are facing, God can transform the situation. What you need to do is to act your faith. And this is what we're going to receive, the teachings and the guidance, how to use and to take the most out of your faith here at the Universal Church. We have our lines open. You can also look at our website, uckg.se, for more information about the church. And you can also give us a call right now. The lines are open. You can message us on WhatsApp or even on Facebook. Tell us your problems. Tell us your story. Tell us what you're going through. And we'll be praying and guiding you to the steps for your life to be transformed. Mathilde, a testimony we're going to watch right now, had a wonderful life story. First, she suffered a lot. Before she find a way out, she went through a lot of issues. From very young age, family issues, suicidal thoughts, depression, and maybe is that your reality today? And this can all be transformed as her life was transformed. Let's watch this testimony and also 10 signs that helps you to identify if you're suffering with depression. And I'll be back straight after with all of you. I suffered from depression and suicidal thoughts when I was about 12 or 13 years old. The main reason was because my mom normally abused me either physically or emotionally. And um, that's something a child shouldn't really go through at that age. I seen symptoms in her as well. Our family, mainly her mom, which is my grandma, um, would put her down so she lashed out on me and my older brother. So it was a general a generational curse. She had it, um, we had it, so it kind of continued. So I would take prescribed medication, um, over-the-counter medication, as well as walking in front of oncoming traffic, which was very difficult because shortly after my mom passed away, I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant. So having these type of thoughts and being pregnant at the same time was putting my own daughter at risk. I do recall just wanting to throw myself um, into that traffic when I was about eight months pregnant. I kept praying, I kept praying, asking God to guide me um, because I couldn't seek help from family. I didn't have friends in trying to find God and trying to find myself. But at the same time, the depression and the suicidal thoughts were keeping me behind because I was more leaning towards that and allowing those thoughts to keep me away from doing uh, what God really wanted me to do because he kept telling me I needed to go to church. So my neighbor, um, who was um, a regular member within the Universal Church, had invited me um, to attend the services. So when I did start coming to the church, I started noticing a difference in my life, but it took me a while to change because I was so attached to the lifestyle that I had. But thankfully the pastors and the assistants within the Universal Church helped me get out of that comfort zone. I actually don't suffer from 
um, depression or suicidal thought. Um, the first changes I've seen doing the um, chain of prayers, I noticed that I started to become more happier. I started believing in myself a lot more. Um, I started seeing that I was rebuilding those relationships with my siblings and my own daughter. Um, something I never had because my older brother, our relationship was severed. It was um, basically broken. And now me and him can actually ha have a full conversation without us bickering at each other. After doing the, the chain of prayers as well, I started coming mainly on the Fridays um, services, which was the night of deliverances. Um, I, that's when I started seeing that I was being set free. Um, because I started getting that confidence back um, and believing in myself of knowing that whatever problem goes around me, I can still overcome with the Holy Spirit is peace, it's joy, it's peace of mind, it's the helper, um, God's helper pretty much um, on overcoming any obstacle um, and assist us with any problems that we may be facing. The day I actually received the Holy Spirit, um, I ended up doing a purpose that week um, because I was really, really tired. Like I was fed up with my situations and I told God, I'm done. I can't anymore. I'm giving you my life. I'm giving you everything. And when I came off the altar, I felt that peace. I felt that joy and the assurance that God was actually with me and guiding me and gonna help me despite everything that, that I would face from then, um, from that point on. I no longer suffer from depression. I no longer suffer from suicidal thoughts. I was delivered from all of that. And if it wasn't for God um, saving me, my kids would have been in, in a foster care or they would have been homeless or without family or anyone to actually love them. And, I just like thank God for that because it it keeps me and my kids intact. And yeah, it's I don't suffer from that anymore, so <laughs>these tears are not tears of pain they're actually tears of joy so <laughs> so whoever is actually watching this um there is ac help out there um seek your nearest universal church um and seek help there um the pastor's assistance the pastor's wives are actually willing to help you out a very close attention 10 signs to identify depression You have no goals for life. You feel numb. Life has no color nor meaning due to the numbness you have inside. Change in appetite and energy level. Change in concentration. You can't focus on anything you do. Anxiety. You worry and fear about everyday situations. Excessive anger and mood swings suicidal thoughts and attempts, sleepless nights, sadness and loss of interest. You are constantly feeling lonely and severe sadness. Can you relate? We are back with your program problems and solutions. What to do when you have tried the means of this world and could not be free of your problems. You saw she tried tablets, medicines, things did not help her. but. Uh, she said, I need something different. And this she found in the church, in the Word of God. We invite you to come to one of our services. For you to come before you need to call, you need to reserve a place. We are following all the guidelines. We are make sure everything the government tells us to be in place here in our, in our church in Stockholm and also in Gothenburg. And so before you come, you need to make an appointment. Our lines are always open. You can give us a call at any moment. Send us a message on WhatsApp or even messages on Facebook. You can contact us to tell us about your problem, to ask for a prayer. We are here ready to listen to you and to help you every single day. 
And Fridays we have special prayers that you can also book a time in the church for you to attend in the way that we follow all the restrictions. We, we have these examples of uh, 10 signs that identify depression that you watch. Maybe you found yourself with one or two or many of them and you need urgent help. So call us, tell us what you're going through, and we are here to help and guide you. We are getting to the end of our program, and our lines are always open. Give us a call. We are ready to talk to you. May God bless all of you, and until next time. It doesn't matter how you are, what your pain, or what your suffering is. Jesus Christ is telling you now, speak out, I'm all ears. The UCKG is aware of and will continue to follow up on the development of precautions that have been implemented in the prevention and fight against the COVID-19 virus. Following the restrictions given by the Swedish government, as of Tuesday, 24th of November, all meetings will be restricted up to a maximum of eight people. You will have to schedule a time to be able to attend the services, and by doing so, we will make sure we will all be protected. With the objective of attaining the same safety levels as the local premises and work sites, we have compiled a series of safety measures to be taken into effect. Displaying official notices provided by the Department of Health in Sweden, providing the means of practicing good personal hygiene, hand sanitizing, and washing of hands with soap. Raising awareness. Action will be undertaken by the church ministers to avoid being in close physical contact or proximity with members and also minimizing physical contact amongst the members. Providing multiple services throughout the day will enable participation. However, this will be by appointment only in order to avoid more than eight people as per advice received from the health department in Sweden. Please schedule a time to attend the services on 072-061-4958. Should you have any flu symptoms or are from the group of risk, participate in our online services. UCKG Help Center. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. Do you want out? That's fine with me. 